back exploring South Creek. We're gonna keep going, why not? It's probably silly too, but if it's a mix of stuff where I can restart it, then it won't be, it won't be huge, it'll be a little tiring. And if we had to do too much, then obviously just turn around, but come back another day. If I have to, you know, I can pick up probably a lead acid battery for temporary fix because we're riding tomorrow and Friday. And then, or, you know, order a battery tonight. Also have the China bike. Maybe the battery's the same size. Or I can go batteries plus or whatever. Who knows, they might have a lithium now or something. Lithium is becoming more and more standard, so. Yeah, this isn't too bad. This is flowy. So once you get up that steep hill, just know it's a struggle, but so far we're into some flow. So this is nice. Picked up speed. I can kind of give it a little more RPM. Try to get enough juice into the uh, lithium battery in this bike that I can do a quick start if needed. But, you know, flat areas like this, and honestly, you probably should have a toe strap. We don't. Bad, bad us. <laughs> I'll pack one. I got plenty of extra straps at home, so. It's not like they're heavy. On water. Some exposure. It says downhill from here.
Yes, <laughs> and there's a huge boulder that's rolled in the way here. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> Whew, this trail, South Creek, is no joke. Great views, though, by the way as you come up over the mountain and we're going down <laughs> that's like narrow through here this is this is going to be a multi-part video because i want to show the trail so people know what to expect Definitely a trail you don't want to be alone on. And I suck at switchbacks. So. 100 more to go. South Creek is no joke. Yeah, we're going down in elevation quickly. This side's on par with uh, Mount Rosa, backside. It's just steep and keeps going. Another switch back. This is a tight trail. It's true single track. And these switchbacks are 
<laughs> Killer. Oh my god, another one. I wonder how far down we're going. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it off just so it doesn't get out of, out of control. If my hand slips with the throttle or something. Don't want to whiskey it off the edge. Um, yeah, right here's a good spot to maybe walk it if I can get off. <sighs> Okay. Use my body weight to anchor it. Oh my god. So yeah, be careful here. <laughs> I had to walk it. No shame in it. I walked it all the way down. Oh, fuck that. I'm not down yeah, people have blown this corner, so you can tell it's all whoosh, slid out. We don't want to end up down there. <laughs> Although I guess it wouldn't matter because the trail's down there. You'd end up going through the trees. <laughs> There's Ride With Will man handling his bike around the switchback just like I did. <laughs> I just don't want my bike to land on top of me. And, and you don't have much room here so this is gnarly guys. You can tell people have gone down there and had to drag their bike to the trail down there. That would suck. And down we go. <laughs> we probably could just coast. But seeing as my bike, we don't know if I lost something on I'm, I'm pretty sure I did not. But just in case, I'm just gonna play it safe today. And have it run when I can and stop where it makes sense to coast and start it. Beta put a kickstart on, geez. Doesn't cost that much from the factory to have that. And the weight is insignificant. And it's there. <laughs> People have been cutting that corner. Yeah, surfing. Man, you look like one of those hard enduro guys. Erzberg. Got both feet on the pegs. I feel com comfortable now. It's like getting going again. There's only two million switchbacks. Yeah, this looks pretty uh, nasty. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, you have to just <laughs> trust. Trust you fit by. Man. 
This is this crazy trail, South Creek. Oh no, San Isabel National Forest. Like I said, I'll have a link to in the uh, description to it on Cotrax. And I'll have a link to my loop, so if you want to do the same loop, we parked at the South Creek Trailhead. I think for a lot of people, you come do South Creek and probably Dome without seeing Dome yet, that, that's probably a pretty good day. And if you come back this way, yeah. These trails are definitely, all in itself, probably for most people, a ride for the day. And then do St. Charles and Snow Slide on a uh, different day, different outing. For us, uh, more locals, it was just a different time coming down here. From my house to Monument, it took uh, an hour and 40, hour and 50 minutes. Not bad. Not bad. I took I-25, so, you know, speed limits are 75 miles an hour for the most part. So for some of the construction areas right now, this will definitely be a multi-part video. So, you're going to have to check out the multi-parts. Looks like we got some flow finally, now that we're down from the mountain. Just had to get over that mountain, I guess. If it stays like this, I'm willing to go all the way to the end, turn around, come back, and do the cutoff <laughs> to get over to Dome. But if it uh, gets really crazy again, you know, I don't know. Put my goggles on. <laughs> 